Last week, Garen announced his engagement to Ellie. Yay! We installed the tile in the bathroom and put up rafters on the kitchen roof for the additions to the main house. He is right here. We're standing in the gray water. There's a plug between there and that pipe, and there's also water in that pipe. We're thinking there might be even a plug here. If you guys are going to snake it, I would snake it from this end first. It's easier. But all I know is that there's water in the shower. It stays there. So it's not flowing through. So you see the plug and or not hooked up. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. We're going to need it. So this is the outside of our bathroom. We did this years ago. So we're not sure where our gray water comes out for like the shower and the sink. We already have the black water set up for the toilet. And you saw that too, the whole digging and everything. We are hoping that it's already set up. But if not, and if it comes out over here, that means that it's underneath this slab of cement, which doesn't sound like a great deal of fun to pull up. So we're going to do some research by digging and hopefully finding the end of our, our gray water pipe here. <laughs> I've been given the task to find the snake. And I don't know if you've ever seen our tool area, but in case you haven't. So we have the, the tool shed there and then this is the hoop barn. And it's just a lot of places to look. But thankfully, I have been given a specific area where it might be. Might is the word I'm a little concerned about. Is that it? Is, is this it? Pretty snakeish, right? That's it. Is this it? Yeah. All right. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Evil, evil plan. <laughs> then where the heck's the water going? No idea. Right. After a brief failed attempt, we are now coming the other direction with a hose, which don't tell Bryson and Dad, but that's what they originally suggested. <laughs> I'll, I'll go from this end and I'll turn it on for you. Oh, you're so helpful. Hopefully we're not flooding out the laundry room. We come in and the laundry, you know, like the inside of the laundry <laughs> bin is like completely filled up. You know what I mean? Oh, we completely. should check that. Speaking of that. It's piqued our interest. So now we got to go look to see where this water is really coming out. Dry. We know the pipe's there. That's all we know so far. Our first glimmer of hope. Bree has at least found the pipe. <gasps> Yay, it's close pipe. to the gray water. But at least it's a start. So we're just following it now. Look where it's headed, Shay. Right under the beautiful cement. This is what happens oh. when people don't have good oh. memories. This is the torture they have to go through. So Jacob, yes. how has your roof experience been so far? It's been a lot of standing there, watching people work, taking a nap. Chicken some tea? Absolutely. I love it. Are we getting this within 10 microns? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm out here working with Bryson and Jacob, and we're putting in the rafters and uh, up here on the roof trying to get her finished up. Okay, I'm gonna pull that. Yeah, there you go. Come on, bullet. I don't know, I really felt, I, I, I'm i sorry, I gotta go pick it up. <laughs> you, but I can't. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Come on. That is a crack. I kind of thinking it's gonna come out like right in here. Okay. So um, the pipe goes right uh, through here. It goes underneath, of course, our cement. Yeah. Okay. And it goes under the house. We think it is coming out right here. But if we just have to break up that area, that's not so horrible, is it? No. The good news about this piece of concrete is that I think Shay and I installed it. So it means it's probably going to be easy to break up. You're helping? <laughs> no. He really wants to. Yeah, well, he's keeping his spirits up, that's all. Okay, yeah, she's, this is definitely, look at the wetness there. Seeking the dampness. Oh my gosh, you found it, you little genius. You hear that? Yeah, We'd only gone the extra mile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me! All right, Bree, we're gonna go tell Dad in, in a very kind way. Oh yes, very kind. Very complimentary. What? 
Okay, we just wanted to let you know that we really appreciate how when things are almost done, you just you follow through and you commit and how you always go the extra mile. Yeah. And we found the pipes so we just want to show you. Okay, is it, is yeah. it not where so I said it was? Famous, your, your famous completion work. Is your, <laughs> yeah, so come on. You really got that extra mile. You really got to see it. Okay. It's All pretty right. impressive. Yeah. All right. So I just want it to look good, right? So. Yeah, exactly. And it, it does. It looks very fantastic. Now that is completion. <laughs> that is acceptable. Oh, come here. <laughs> that is oh, acceptable. It works. Dad, all I gotta do is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, back to work. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Anytime. <laughs> And that needs to be the outside and the outside of the box. But you have to center the 25 in the middle of that board there. Okay. Okay, so center it there. The 25 is from outside to outside, and then put your, we're gonna put boards on in the inside there, okay? So sure. That's it, and then I'll cut these two for that one and that third one there, and uh, we'll be doing the same thing we did over there. Outside to outside, yes sir. Yeah. You guys got it figured out? No. I, I think we're overthinking. Probably. It's usually <sighs> things are way simpler than they often be. Appear. I have a center mark, so let's just divide 25 and half. So there you go. Did you guys get it figured out? I <laughs> still can't figure it out. <gasps> go 20, 12 and a half inches on either side, make a mark. That becomes the outside, the LOD. It's so hard to actually do it. It's just, it just takes a little time. Really? Send take them? your shoes off, count it again. You know, we send them to the finest the school. schools, and this is what happens. Homeschooling at its best! These, both these critters are homeschooled! <laughs> Better than the last one we put in. Shh, she's recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it'll only hurt for a little while. And we need a board to nail it to when it's square so that it keeps it square. So, as a carpenter say, it's a squaring board. Boom. No, actually, I, really? I don't know. Don't think oh. it's my new name for it though. <laughs> squaring board? <I> <laughs> <laughs> so we got the fan. We got ready to put it in. Looked over there, we started switching light switches, going, which one's the fan? Which one's the fan? Power goes to this light, this light, and that fan. And then dad goes, oh, I took the wire from here and I wired it to a light. Anyway, so we were thinking, well, we could take and tear the whole ceiling apart, put a new wire in. We could run outside conduit around the walls, but that looks hack job done. So we're gonna go do an even hackier job. They make these LED light bulbs and they run off a remote. So the fan will always have power and she can just switch it on there. And if she wants to turn her lights on, she just takes this remote and she goes bloop, bloop, and turns them on. Plus they come with a bazillion different colors apparently. So there we go. Man, I can't believe we took this wire and put it to those lights. Bye Shay, who isn't here? These are the saddles that are going to hold up the rafters that sit on top of the back. It's kind of like a big gusset. They hold up the rafters. Boom. Basically, boards just go in here, and then we can lift them up to any size, and once we get it right, we can nail it in. And then we can then nail these into the bags. Looks good. Are you trying to scare it in? Yeah, I've been nailing since I was like 10, so. Good. You gotta get these squares so that, you know, you don't have to look at the building like this. Get this last one over here and then we're done. Alright. You feed 
Feed me, give me water. I'm happy. <laughs> so she can't get the fan going unless she has the lights on. It's hilarious. This is our solution. They're small. A pack of three. These are actually way smaller than I thought. They're supposed to be equivalent to a 40 watt. Here, let me let me unbox them for you guys. Dun, dun. <gasps> oh. Okay, where's the remote one? Oh. Ta da! Okay, there it is. Whoa. Nice. That's bright. That's, That's very yellow. bright. I'm feeling it was blue, so I was singing the blue song. Oh. Let's see, we can go into color mode. <laughs> okay, now here's the question Disco! <laughs> There's love mode. <laughs> love mode? <laughs> I feel like a love mode. Fire mode. And then. Hi. Hey. Did you get the light? Disco, disco. Light it on. Light it on. Brightness. Disco, fire, vegetation. They've got fun little. There's an off button, Dad. Okay, I want to shave them. Look how tight this thing is. Yeah, you know, might as well just put tape around that, drill a hole right there, and it would have worked. <laughs> we have a lot of different tees here. I'm going with this one because I think it fits the best. And I think that that would be easier to snake than these angles. And since this is just drainage, I'm just going to use PVC glue. I think I'm in for a long journey. It's a lot better. <laughs> We're cutting these back here, doing these back cuts. Because our fascia boards are only eight inch boards and these are like 10 inch. So we cut this back so that there's no overhang underneath. He wants to do a three foot eave around this whole thing, but he has to match this eave and then he's slowly, he's growing outwards so that he can go to the three foot that's gonna go all the way around. Thanks for being here. A special thank you to our new and not so new Patreon givers. We really appreciate your generosity. Have a great week and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. You seen anything? Cause I'm not seeing anything. Right, well, let's just start where we know it is. Which, it doesn't look like we really know where it is, Bree. We can't even guess a pipe five feet. I'm so curious. Who's <laughs> got? What are you leaving us? Bye, Gizmo. Where are you going, Gizmo? Are, are you leaving? On a, on a oh. jet plane? Oh, did you decide not to? Decide not to go? It's a good boy. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. So my guess is, is that underneath Shay's name, right here. Why is Shay's name there? She wrote that because she was like writing stuff. I want to be like, hey, yeah, just come in, chill, grab a soda. This is for when you need to like Kay. be mad at someone. Can we pour some water down here to see if it comes out of this pipe here? <laughs>